So Ilya Tapuria versus Josh Emmett just got announced literally a few hours before I'm recording this and yes, I am wearing an hoodie. It is freezing cold where I am right now, dude, and I also have caught a cold, um, which is a shame, but so the grind doesn't stop. Let's get into it. It's crazy, dude. This is actually a big step up in competition again for Ilya Tapuria because if you look at his record, man, you look at Ilya Tapuria, he just beat... Bryce Mitchell, but before that he beat Jai Herbert, you know what I mean, at 155, and before that it was Ryan Hall, and then um, Damon Jackson and Yusuf Zalal, like, this is a big jump up for him, I actually do think Ilya Tapuria passes the test as well, I will pick him in this matchup, and it's interesting, because uh, they might be fast tracking Ilya Tapuria a little bit too quickly with this one, because if he beats Josh Emmett, he's probably in a title eliminator in his next fight, um, I don't think that would be unfair to say, Josh Emmett literally just fought for a title for the interim bout, against Yair Rodriguez, and now, Ilya Tapuria's fighting Josh Emmett, I don't think if Tapuria wins, he gets a title shot, I think if he beats Josh Emmett, and then beats maybe like Brian or Taker, I think then he would probably get a title shot, but um, yeah dude, it's so crazy how uh, fast Ilya Tapuria's risen to the top, but I think he deserves it dude, he's looked so good, that looked incredible against Bryce Mitchell, actually ended up submitting Bryce Mitchell, I thought he was going to knock him out, but getting the sub was even more impressive arguably, and uh, Josh Emmett's powerful on the feet, dude, but think about Josh Emmett, dude, everyone talks about his power, he hasn't KO'd anyone in a long time, it was 2019 he got his last KO, and that was Marisad Bektik, you know, and I don't even think Bektik's still on the UFC roster anymore, to be honest, um, um, Edwari Garagori, yeah, that was, uh, 2020, he's not even, um, anyway, it doesn't matter, um, I like, I like Tapuri in the matchup, dude, I think Tapuri is probably gonna look to initiate his grappling in this one here a bit more, in uh, the last fight against uh, Bryce Mitchell, obviously he wanted the fight on the feet, but in this fight he's going to want to keep the fight, um, probably want to take the fight to the ground, because Tapuria has a really good ground game, he's got incredible striking, but his ground game is also really, really good as well, like he's uh, got 8 wins by sub, he's got 4 wins by KO, and I think he's going to beat Josh Hemet, but what would be interesting, maybe is if we do see Ali Tapuria taken to the 4th round, like what happens then, but... I like to put it in the matchup. I think he gets it done over Josh Emmett. Maybe Josh Emmett could catch him with something sneaky and KO him. But as I said, Josh Emmett hasn't KO'd anyone about four years now. And uh, even then, it was Marisad Big Duke. He's not even on the roster anymore, I'd, I would say. So, yeah, I've got to put in the matchup. I think he's uh, got a very good rise coming. And another thing about this, um, <laughs> this, this, this is annoying me. This has really got me grinding my gears. This fight is um, in the Apex, apparently. When I saw Big Marcel post it, he said that the location was the Apex. Let's get it out of the Apex. This is going to be in an arena. This would sell out an arena. It's Josh Emmett. People know Josh Emmett. He literally just fought for a title. Um, and um, Ilya Tapuria. Ilya Tapuria is a pretty big name. Not really as big of a name, maybe, as Josh Emmett to like, the casual MMA fans. Um, or maybe you could even argue Ilya is a bigger name to the casual MMA fan base. But... Um, doesn't matter, either way, um, I'd say Josh Emmett's probably had the more, like, high notice fights, whereas Ilya Tapuria's, like, highest notice fight is probably this Ryan Hall win, and his Bryce Mitchell win. Aside from that, this card is pretty good too, like, you've got Jenny Flick versus Alessandro Costa, you're gonna get a finish in that one, either Costa's probably gonna knock him out, or Jimmy Flick's gonna submit him. Uh, Teresa Blader, I think is very underrated, I think people, uh... Underrate Teresa Blader, dude. I rate Teresa Blader very highly. I think Teresa Blader's got a very high ceiling in the sport. Um, she's only 21 years old. She literally beat Lucy Pudelova when she was 18 years old, and Lucy Pudelova's back in the UFC now. Um, yeah, dude, I think Teresa Blader's underrated, but we're not here to talk about her. Uh, I've got Tapuria, main event, though. It'll be interesting to see if Josh Emmett can maybe take it to the fourth round and the fifth round. Like, like, what do we think Ilya looks like? Because we know that Ilya somewhat struggles with the weight cut a little bit, you know what I mean? Because he wanted to move up to 155. He did against Jai Herbert. It wasn't um, too successful. Like, he obviously won the fight, but man, he got hit with a couple of good shots and he almost got put out. So, uh, yeah, I've got Ilya in the matchup, dude. I think he's making rapid improvements. He's only 26 years old. I think he goes to the top, dude. I think if he can beat Josh Emmett... I would pick him to beat Brian Ortega. Uh, if, they fought, if he fought Brian Ortega, I think he. W I would still pick Ilya to win anyway, just because Brian Ortega's offensive wrestling, like his ability to get the fight to the mat, isn't that great. And I think Ilya would just keep it on the feet uh, for that fight and probably get a finish because Ilya, uh, Brian Ortega didn't look that great on the feet against Yair. Yeah, but that's Yair. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've got Ilya Tapuri in the matchup as I said, as I have said like five or six times now. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
uh, below, I don't think there should be an Apex, dude. You can make a fight night in an arena with this main event. Like, this is a great main event to build off of. Um, you got a couple of decent prelims on there as well. Teresa Blader, Aris Gabriela Fernandez, and Jenny Flick versus Alessandro Costa. Like, I know they're not big names, like, whatsoever, but they'll be fun fights. Or at least the Jenny Flick versus Alessandro Costa fight will be good. I think Costa would either knock him out or Jimmy Flick would either KO him. So, I think you've got options there, but... Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, geez, that video was a bit long, but I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Um, while you're here, though, if you've made it all this way far, I'm going to be live streaming this weekend. I'm going to be streaming during Gamebird FC and PFL on my Sunday, you guys, Saturday night. And I will be streaming during Bella Torch, which is on Friday night and my Saturday. So I'm going to be streaming twice this weekend. It's going to be good. I look forward to it. And I'll see you in the next one.